Tony Nerdigans, this is the one only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Attack on Titan chapter 127. So, the rumbling's still going. And, um, we actually have a very interesting alliance between some of us, our Eldians, and some Marley. And that is something I did not expect to happen. But anyway, uh,. Oh yeah, I have to I have to mention this because I just was like blown away with what Armin did. So what Armin did was just amazing to uh, to save Falco. So first of all, like uh, Mikasa was complaining about Aaron about saving Aaron and all this shit, and Armin just like, bitch, we don't have time for this right now. We got a whole bunch of other problems. I was like, yes, that's my boy. <laughs> I'm so proud of Armin for that. And um, the other thing that Armin did was to save uh, Falco, was he was about to jump in Connie's uh, mom's mouth, and, uh, and Connie saved him. I was, so, I was just like, dude, this, Armin is just, like, Armin, when, this is why it pisses me off when Armin says that it should have been Erwin that was, that was saved, not him. It's just like, shut the fuck up, man. Seriously. Uh, anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us uh, this month. And this chapter is titled The Night of the End. Naturally, I'll ask for a house in the Central District. I'll be gulping down the finest wine, whether it be uh, morning or noon. I won't take complaints from anyone. I'll let my wife, uh, our children, and our grandchildren enjoy a life of happiness. We should, we should have that, right? Shouldn't we? That's because we fought with our lives on the line. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have my Armin up here. I almost forgot. Uh, speaking of Armin, anyway. Uh, that this island has a future. That's why we should brush it aside. Jean, it's me. I'll be waiting outside. I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything. Um, I don't go, uh, um, I just, uh, I, I don't go think about it. If I just stay still like this, I'll get my place at the Central District just like this. Oh, shit, that, that's right. We, oh, poor Jean. She's pro fucking traumatized right now. Just like this. So you came, Jean. Mikasa told me about the situation. I'm sorry, I couldn't be there. You guys did did well under such dif uh, difficult circumstances. Levi is uh, not not fine, but he's alive. He won't be able to fight for a while, though. Of course not. All because of that bastard Zeke. Oh, I wanted to see Levi in this fight so bad. Also, we joined forces with the Car Titan and the remnants of Marley forces in order to stop Aaron. Mass slaughter is wrong. Yeah. How do you plan I plan to stop him? First, we'll gather collaborators. What we can do or not uh, depends on the um, allies we have. But without you and the powers of the Nine Titans, there's nothing we can do. Well, duh. The military that existed up until now has been destroyed, so I'm no longer your superior officer. But I'm still asking this of you. I'll do it. I, do well, I don't want to let Aaron go any further on this indiscriminate attack. Even if it's to protect us and this island, I want to stop Aaron. Well, I'm kind of surprised because I said this. I thought you was just going to be like, I'm going to just bring Aaron back, to be quite honest. Mikasa, uh, let's say we really stop Aaron. What's the plan next? Even assuming Aaron somehow managed to keep the Founder's power, if he only has four years left to live, what becomes of this island after that? After that and for the decades to come, if the hatred um, of the world bears towards us uh, won't go away, then stopping Aaron uh, means that we're destroying this island. Well, because this is, remember, the Eldians are the Jews. And you can think of the, uh, the, the island, think of, you can think of, 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 of this as Israel. It's called building up your defense, motherfucker. Getting the right technologies. And building up your defense and preparing for war. It's also called getting treaties going on. You gotta make a treaty with the nations. And in the case of Marley, you gotta overthrow those motherfucking dictators up in Marley. And get a better government up in there. That's what you gotta do in Marley. And you gotta have uh, some... You gotta get the Eldians out of internment camps over there and liberate them. That's what you gotta do. You, it's not an all or nothing thing. With, with Aaron. There's ways to do this shit. You just gotta, you just gotta think. Gotta use your brain. It's a political game here. 
I think that from Marley's point of view, the rumbling got activated as soon as they launched their surprise attack on the island. At least for, uh, from now on, they might keep their hands off the island for a while, I believe. If the world doesn't destroy the island, they have no way to know uh, when, they'll, when they'll be the ones getting annihilated. Uh, Willie Tyver's speech uh, ought to have stirred up the world even more. Duh! That's why... That's why you gotta make, get your, uh, that's why the Eldians gotta have a representative up there and get their piece. The Eldians need to give their side of the story and say, look, you mo these mo mofos have been oppressing us. And we've been, exp we've, uh, we've been treated like shit. We just want to be left the fuck alone. That's all we want. If you leave us alone, we won't bother you. Hell, we'll, we just, just, can we just get a treaty? That says, from, uh, from all you, and fuck, we'll do, even do trade with you. Let's just get the peace treaty set going and say, if you fuck with us, we'll fuck with you. And if you do leave us alone, we'll leave you alone. It's not that hard. Like, jeez. Well, it is kind of hard, but, uh, seriously. Um, that's certainly, and, like, uh, yeah, and, uh, I gotta go back to this comment here. Willie Tiber's, spe Tiber's speech ought to have stirred up the world even more. Yes, because people are fucking stupid. Look at, uh, get, uh, here's a great example. I I'm getting political here for a reason. Look at, uh, and I saw this and I couldn't believe this. Look at the Bernie Sanders uh, rallies. I was watching this shit uh, last night and I'm just like, oh my God. I knew, like, back in 2016, it was, I was joking about it being a cult. Like, they, these mofos really believe that he's the messiah. Like, that's how freaking stu crazy people are. It's insane. It's just crazy. They, oh, God, it is insane, man. I know there's people on Trump's side that believe he's freaking Jesus, too. But the the Bernie cultists take it to a whole other level of crazy. I'm just saying. Oh my god. But the the world. My point is, is the world is full of freaking sheep. They and they don't think for themselves. That's my freaking point. That's a, they don't question what uh, what people say. Uh, question what their leaders say. That's certainly plausible. But um, in any case, uh, there's some time before that hypothesis happens. Um, even if the island is going to be destroyed, we should be able to push it back for several years. But time passed while we tr uh, tried looking for a way to do uh, to do that, and we couldn't find a single solution. That's why Aaron is uh, going to destroy the world. You just you can't just massacre everyone. Like hell, there's a good reason to, to ever do that. Well, there's not. I I have to agree to an extent with with Hanja on this one. But, but at the same time, it's like, these mofos have been persecuting you for God knows how long. And it's just like, Aaron just doesn't want to see this, see uh, the Aldians get, get, um, get persecuted no more. He's just tired of it. He don't want it to happen no more. And, it, and like, these people ain't going to stop. It's not like these people ain't going to stop. He just, he just wants, he, he just wants other people to live in peace, basically. And you know, and he, let's be real, what, he's going, what was going through Aaron's mind is, these motherfuckers are going to do it to us, and I'm going to stop them before they do it to us. Just saying. I know it's wrong for them to, wrong for Aaron, what Aaron is doing is wrong, but that's what's going through Aaron's head. Sorry, I made too much noise. As you said, Jean, Aaron ended up there because of my own weak-minded and idealistic thoughts. Uh, besides, I'm yelling about it when I, tr my, I when I myself tried to run away. I tried to I tried to leave it all behind to forget about it all and continue with my life. However, I am still the 14th commander of the Survey Corps. I dedicated my heart to humanity's freedom. I can. Okay, here's the problem, Hodge. You're saying humanity's freedom. Well, there, there's kind of a problem here. That's too big. That's too broad. You should be focusing on the Eldians' freedom first, and then you can focus on the on the bigger picture. You gotta, you gotta narrow it down. I can feel that my comrades are watching. 
Most of them died without ever knowing that humanity existed outside uh, outside of the walls. And yeah, and the most of the majority of humanity is um is discriminated discriminating you and hates you. Duh. But still, just bringing about this island's freedom is enough. Yeah. Well, that'd be nice to be able to like travel the world and see the outside world would be nice without getting persecuted. Yeah, that would be nice. Or traveling the uh the world without worrying to um. Worried about being killed? Just for who, being who you are? Yeah, that would be nice. Um, there's certainly no one among among those comrades who would say something so narrow-minded. The time to stop the slaughter is it's now or never. Hond, um, I, I'll, I'm sorry, I said Hond is that page. It's still a mem uh, I'm still a member of the Survey Corps. No one's going to give me a hand here? Please stop glaring at each other, huh? Sharing a meal with people whom uh, we have killed and who have killed us so horribly. That's interesting. Why did you change your mind? If you uh, just left er Aaron Yeager alone, you lot would see the world you wished for, uh, wished for become reality, right? A paradise for the island devils. We were this close to preventing Aaron and Zeke in from coming into contact with each other. If you hadn't interfered, that is. It's as I explained, Mr. General. We do not wish for mass murder. If we did, we wouldn't have run and hidden inside a forest to make some stew. In other words, you're telling me you developed a sense of justice? Justice, you say? Did you just talk about justice right now? You of all people? Seriously? Really? You, the one that, whose people are fucking persecuting Eldians and putting them in internment camps. Fuck you, dude. We lived under the threat of titans. You kept sending after us, but we're the bad guys? You hear that? The reason why we fought desperately is that we didn't want to de uh, die devoured by titans. Are you trying to say that uh, that was us acting like devils, you old fuck? Yeah, you tell Jane. Seriously. Fuck you, you stupid Marlian bitch. So <laughs> sorry. You are a dick. Yeah, you look like devils all right. The theories about the threat parodies post turn out to be true, and the, and the world is now about to be destroyed. Who caused this? Really? Who's the one that caused this? It was you motherfuckers that caused this. If you would have just left them alone and didn't send Titans after them, just left them the fuck alone, they would be fine. God. You brought this upon yourself. Seriously. This is the result uh, you guys fighting to the death uh, led to. Uh, led to. Am I wrong? Hold on. To begin with, if the walls had been broken down and his mom had been eaten right in front of him, Aaron would have never done this. Are you sure you aren't the one who chased after the rumbling? Hey, are we talking about history now? You understand the Eldians, um, that, uh, oh, sorry, that Eldia's the one who made Marley suffer and trampled over them first, don't you? How long are you going to keep playing the victim for something that dates back to 2,000 years ago? It, re it really feels like I'm talking to a brat. You think that silly nonsense is worth anything in the face of 2,000 years of real, actual history? What do you say? Oh, let's stop this. This talk about 2,000-year-old quarrels that none of us saw with our own eyes is just dull. Thank you! Thank you, Hange! This is fucking stupid! You're- you- Why are you holding a grudge for something that happened 2,000 years ago? That's stupid! That's freaking stupid to hold a grudge for something that happened 2,000 years ago. Stupid. Stupid, stupid. Gene, Mr. General is obviously bewildered by our existence. We're strange devils who are willing to even give up on um, their uh, paradise to rescue the people of the world that try to eradicate them. We spent several months in the outside world. We can't go back to being ignorant devils anymore. Well then, are you prepared to kill him? Eh? Are you able to kill Aaron? Killing Aaron isn't the only way to stop him. I th I thought you'd say that, but wh what would that be? Are you going to talk to him or something? Thank you, Aunt! <laughs> you, Annie, for saying this. Would someone who changed their mind because of that commit genocide? We don't know that unless we try talking to Aaron. Good luck with that, Armin. You could try. It's worked before. Let's be real. It has worked before when Armin did it. So... But I don't know. In this state, he's in, in the state that he's in. I, I don't. I honestly I can't tell you. Then, assuming we can have a conversation with him, what will we do if he doesn't stop the genocide? Should we try not to think about the final option as much as possible? 
I knew it. If we who have a hometown in Marley try to kill Aaron, you're going to end up fighting us to protect Aaron, surely. That's it after all, isn't it, Mikasa? Because you probably have never thought of anything being more important than Aaron. Ooh, those are fighting words, Annie! Those are some fighting words. In other words, are you saying you have to kill me? Woo! And Landheart! I understand your feelings well. Me too. I have one reason to want to stop Aaron. I don't want my father and Marley to be killed. That's why I'm helping you. If we could stop Aaron by talking to him, that's fine. If nothing else, we don't have any reason to fight until then. Got it. Come on, the stew's ready. Let's eat. Even if we let the horses rest, the port is five hours from here. We can thank the um, Azumabitos. Azuma um, it seems like Kiyo um, uh, Kiyomi uh, prepared a flying boat in the port to observe the rumbling. If we can get that, um, if, oh, boring solution. If we use that, we can get close to the founding titan. I knew it. The Azumabitos uh, were working behind our backs. Well, no shit. The problem is the founding titan's location. If we just fly around blindly, we'll quickly run out of fuel. That's right, we have to uh, look for the f Founding's path. We have a bit of a clue. That's why I took her. Uh, where is Jaeger headed, first of all? I wouldn't know. Even if I did know, why do I need to answer? Come on, Yelena, quit being a bitch! The one who lent their knowledge to Aaron, who knew nothing of the continent, was you. Jaeger was planning the rumbling in advance. You should be able to predict something. You piece of shit. Huh? I'm asking why there's a need for me to cooperate with a Marlene piece of shit. Isn't it because we have the upper hand on your life here? <laughs> I love you. Dude, Annie, I fucking love you, man. It's pointless. She's acting like she wants to die. But weren't you fighting Marley uh, for your hometown? Are you fine with your hometown being trampled like this? Elena, isn't it fine because she's a Marley uh, piece of shit just the same? Woo, eh? Since you uh, thoroughly got me in uh, Laverio, Elena, I researched everything about your past and was shocked. You twisted your generic everyday Marley and origins to being uh, to being from a small country annexed by Marley. Whoa! What? Um. Ever since you met Zeke, disappointed with Marley, you came up with a certain story. The bitch is lying. She lied. That is a miraculous story of saving the world with the prince, covering up the truth about yourself. You tried to carve yourself into history. I deeply admire your greed. It's almost like you're saying you're any different from me. Just what exactly is different between you guys and me? Saving the world. Is there any sweet word that charms people more than that? Giving yourselves to that noble excitement of saving hundreds of millions of lives. Washing all the ill will until now uh, down your throats like they didn't exist. That's what you look like in my eyes right now. That, I can't, oh my god, you later. down memory lane, shall we? Rainer Braun, by opening a hole in the wall, um, how many Eldians do you suppose were devoured by pure titans? Slipping into the wall, sharing joys and sorrows with your comrades here. Betrayal, killing each other, and now you pretend to be a comrade again? A Annie Lineheart, it seems you killed an awful amount of scouts too. Eventually you trampled the residents of, uh, Stohes, um, in great numbers. And of course, you Paradisians were all exactly, um, were extreme, oh, we're holy shit. Ah, of course you Paradisians were all extremely heroic against Marley, too. You normally, a sensible person, so loudly destroyed the military port, Armin, using the power you stole from Bertolt Hoover, including civilians. Just how tall of a mountain of corpses did you raise alongside your military gains? And I know nothing of your valor in Liber uh, Liberio. You're ma you magnificently annihilated the soldiers of Marley who greatly outnumbered you and dyed uh, Liberio the color of blood, especially Jean. In order to defeat the cart, you aimed at Falco and dauntlessly fired your thunder spear because the spear barely missed Falco is still here. Then Sasha was shot by the little girl who was, who was there, Gabby. Because Sasha was such a good girl, I was sad too. But it surely can't compare to the sadness and hatred of those who spent time with her, uh, her like family from uh, when they were trainees. Hmm, it's delicious, ha um, Hansan. Can I have seconds? Yeah, there's still plenty. Thanks, Elena. You're helping us get each other's ill will out and sort out our minds here, right? <laughs> dream that you wanted to come true so bad um you even blew your precious comrades brains out uh ended meaningless meaninglessly and you were ready to die sorry for the trouble <laughs> uh, i forgot what was it again 
your close friend's name you told me before? That's right, it's Marco. If I'm not mistaken, you said Annie was involved in his death, right? Did you already hear from Annie the truth about Marco's death? I took Marco's 3D maneuvering gear. That's why Marco was devoured by a titan. Annie just obeyed my order. Marco heard a conversation between me, uh, me and Bertolt that had to be kept a secret. I feared her true forms would be found out. I thought that if Marco was killed by a, tile, uh, by a titan, it would silence him well. Um, I threw Marco into a roof in midair, and while I was holding him down so he couldn't move, Annie removed his 3D maneuvering gear. Marco couldn't move from that spot, and he was eaten by a titan who came from behind him. Marco, he didn't say any last words? He said we still haven't talked. Yes, that's right, we haven't talked properly. That's why, isn't that why we ended up killing each other and, and such until either one was dead? If we had talked properly from the beginning, all of the killing up until now, it's not too late to start now. Even people like us who have ruthlessly killed each other, at least we are um, now exchanging words without killing each other. Who could have imagined this? That we would eat together around a fire. While, while I was watching um, Marco be eaten, being eaten by a titan, I asked myself, why is he being eaten? And then I let myself be overcome by rage and I killed that titan while saying, you did this to Marco. Enough already. You went crazy because of your sense of guilt, didn't you? Do not forgive me. I really have no idea what to do. Enough already. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Now, now you're doing what Yelena wants. Come on, man. I know they gotta get it out, but shit. Jean! Uh, Gabby, um, are you okay? Sar sorry. We, um, all of you people from Paradise Islands, um, Island, we wish for all of you to disappear. And then my dad and my mom, all the people from, uh, Liberio ended up disappearing. I'm, s I'm sorry. I've realized how incredibly pr uh, impudent this is of me, but we need your help. Please, please lend us your strength. Please stop the rumbling with us. Please, please let go of me. Where are you going, Jean? Jean, you don't want a second serving? Uh, uh, it's no use. Uh, he went away. Gabby, you're so no- <laughs> Fucking Levi! <laughs> you're so noisy! <laughs> oh god, that was funny. I'm sorry. Wake up. It's time to leave. You will help us? Yes, of course. Uh, well, uh, until when are you going to sleep, Rainer? All of your wounds should have healed already. <laughs> Gabby, I'm sorry I kicked you. Um, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. It's fine. Is that so? Um, Rainer, I will not apologize to you. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I I cannot forgive you. I know. I'll blame him. I'll blame G for not forgiving him. Can we really trust the um, Azumabito? Azum we have no choice but to trust them. Oh, sorry. What about me? Oh, so... <laughs> no oh, no answer. No answer for Annie from Jean. Uh, can we really trust the Azumabita? Uh, we have no choice but to trust them. Uh, the cart, the cart, stop, uh, stop. It seems like something happened. The harbor. It was occupied by the Jaeger faction. They probably got there um, before, before us using the locomotives. There are a great number of soldiers with the uh, 30 MG uh, deployed to, deployed to fight. Uh, seems like they sensed we are moving in order to try to, and stop the rumbling. Um, and decide to confront us! Oh, shit! The time left to humanity shortens and the, only the obstacles increase. Oh, my God. So, this chapter was really, really, really good. And it was really important to talk it out. I, I agree. To talk to talk this shit out. But the thing that, um... What that... Oh, my God. Yelena ex uh, uh, being exposed as a, a liar was just so fucking amazing. Oh, God, that was great. Oh, God. But them thinking that there's only, like, two options is just driving me goddamn nuts. No, they gotta hear... I think what, what needs to happen is once Aaron is freed from the rumbling, is he... The world leaders need to hear Aaron's side of, uh, side of the story. And also... He needs to god. He needs to goddamn say, well, what I said earlier is, look, if you leave us the fuck alone, we'll leave, we'll leave you alone. Stop attacking us, dude. Like we just want to be left alone. If you attack us, we're we'll, we'll fuck you up. Just let just let the people the Eldians go. They're not gonna. There's a, they're not gonna turn into titans unless you may unless um. Unless, unless you do, uh, unless they, um, 
them. Unless they cut themselves, man. Like, jeez, just let leave them. Just leave us alone. We want to be left alone. It's fucking stupid. But leadership. The, I think it all starts with um making like a peace deal with Marley. Once we make a once um the Eldians make a peace deal with Marley, I think that's when everything's really going to change, especially around the world. Um but Jesus. There's a lot of this stuff is just freaking crazy. But I'm I'm glad the stuff about Marco came out. That was really really important. Even though they basically uh, what happened was basically what Elena wanted. But like when when ha when Hans basically said the shit about, um, about he protecting all of humanity, I was just like, really? You're not gonna focus on your, uh, like, I understand rescuing all of humanity and all that shit, but what about your own people, man? Like, come on! You know, like, your own people, it just, oh god, it just, like, drove me crazy. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, we, um, we gotta protect, like, I'm talking about pre-rumbling. That's because I think that's what she was talking about. Ta ta uh, was talking about uh, pre-rumbling, um, and I was just like, "Really? You're not uh, you're not gonna be focusing on your own people? Like what? Especially since you found, uh, especially when we found out the shit uh, uh, about the basement if, uh, after reading the journal and shit. Really?" Like, come on, man! Focus on, on saving your own people that are get, being persecuted first! Like, jeez! That, that kind of, like, frustrated me a little bit. But, um, this chapter was- And now we gotta deal with the Jaegerists, who are cultists. Let's be real. Um, but, like, fucking- Oh, the other thing that I thought was fucking hilarious was, like, after the fight, and Levi just got up and was like, So fucking so noisy, that shit was- Fucking hilarious. And also when Yelena was trying to stir the pot, everyone's just, everyone's just like, everyone just ignored, uh, ignored, basically ignored uh, Yelena. And, uh, uh, and then for a second, and then they're like, yeah, we all know this shit already. They, uh, thanks for bringing it up so that we can talk about it and get it all out, uh, out in the air. <laughs> I thought that was great. Oh, God. And I love that, like, Jane didn't even say anything to Annie. Like, Cause Annie was just like, what about me? Can you forget me? <laughs> oh God. Anyway, I'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. What do you guys think? Like, what do you guys think? Uh, Cause I'm, um, uh, basically from what I understand, the end of Attack on Titan is already done. And it's all about, um, figuring out how we're going to get to that ending. Um, and I'm really curious what you guys think is good, um, what you guys think it's gonna come down to. Do, I kind of, like, part of me thinks that Armin might be able to convince, um, Aaron, like, he might be able to talk to him. I think he might have, a, we're, we're probably gonna have, um, a battle between, uh, Aaron and Armin, which will be amazing. Um, I think that, I, I, oh, I forgot to mention that. I love the conversation between Mikasa and, and Andy. I thought that was great, too. Because uh, Andy was like, you know, we, I don't want to kill Aaron either, but, like, if, if we have to, we might have, we got to have that option. I thought that was, that, that was good, too. Um, I, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I'm really curious if, like, we'll get something with, um, like, the, El if the bat, if we're in Marley, I'm curious if, like, the Eldians in, in Marley, because they heard, remember, they all heard, Aaron's message. I wonder if they're gonna rise up and rebel against the Marlians too. I'm very curious if that's gonna happen. That would be freaking amazing. I would love to see something like that. I would love that. I would love to see the Marlians rise. Or not Marlians. Excuse me. I'd love to see the Eldians rise up. I really would. I'd love to see Eldian rebellions around the world, like rising up and being like, "You ain't fucking treating us like shit no more." 
I'd love to see that. That would be freaking amazing. Anyway, I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep uh, bringing you more Attack on Titan greatness, there's a few ways you can do that. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.